Succulent Growers. I'm very excited to share with you our gorgeous gift of a new Cereus Cactus plant. And this amazing Cereus Cactus here was gifted to us by, by our wonderful friend Stephen at the Cactus Society here in Belfast. So Stephen, thank you so much for gifting this amazing Cereus and um, we're very, very happy to add it to our Cereus Cactus collection. And we're going to show you in this video where we put the Cereus with our other Cereus Cacti in the polytunnel. And do a little quick tour of all the other types of Cereus Cacti that we've also got in our collection. And before I go any further, I want to give a massive thank you to my wonderful fiancé Hans, who is behind the camera filming me, so I've got my hands free. So if you're not familiar with Hans's channel, um, Plant Daddy, do go over and subscribe to him. I'll link the, the, the channel up above. And also don't forget to subscribe to me too. And uh, as I say, this is absolutely gorgeous. We don't know the exact ID of this cactus. It's obviously a serious variety. Um, similar to sort of the Peruvian apple type of cactus, but it's not. So if anyone can ID it, do let us know. And there's a lovely history as well to this particular cactus. And we love the cacti with history. Now, this is actually a cutting from a cactus that's 100 years old. So although this is a cutting, it's come from the mother plant that is a, a century old, so very special. Always lovely to have a cacti with history. So again, thank you so much, Stephen. So here you go, guys. If you can ID it for us, let us know in the comments down below. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cactus. And as I always say, there's always room for one more or a few more. So here we are, guys. The lovely, gorgeous new Cereus cactus. And I'm going to put it away now in its new home with all the other Cereus cacti. And I have the perfect place for it. It fits perfectly here. There it is. It's almost like this place has been made for him. Look at that. Gorgeous. And uh, it's going to get plenty of light there to overwinter for the uh, rest of the winter. And now I'm going to show you a few of our other serious cactus plants that we have in our collection, both in the polytunnel, playing good overhead, <laughs> and also in our grow room and on our staircase as well. So here we go, I'm going to show you what we got. So first of all here we've got some Trichocereus uh, scopolicolas, and uh, that's the little pup growing from the top because this got um, a bit of damage to it, it got knocked a few years ago and this is the new pup that's growing from the top and uh, another scopolicola here this is another trichocereus scopolicola and uh, here we have a trichocereus peruvianus which has amazing awesome spines just look at that guys you would not want to get too close to them spines they are incredible and this was attacked by a slug a few years ago and these two new big heads of the growth have come up from the top there absolutely amazing specimen and uh, we also have a mixture as well, some more uh, Trichocereus Peruvianus is in here as well, slightly different varieties, some are, that's the pup actually from this big mother plant, as you can see. And um, then we've got this, these two here, that's a little bit more bluer, this is a more bluer version, and the same as this one here, quite amazing. And then here we have my very old Trichocereus scopolicola crossed with Pachanoi. Um, big tall cactus that's about over six feet high and uh, it has beautiful magnificent white blooms in the summertime and I'll link up above to a video when this was in multiple bloom a few years ago now it was breathtaking so you'll see how beautiful the blooms are and some more Trichocereus scopolicolas here gorgeous and then these are Trichocere Trichocereus fields pachanoi that I grow from seed a few years ago now. They're, they're growing really, really well, as you can see. And uh, here, I'm gonna show you the rest of our Trichocereus collection. This is my Trichocereus grandiflorus red star. And tons and tons of pups all at the bottom. It has beautiful, gorgeous red flowers in the summertime. And uh, this is the, was the original plant, growing like a snake all along the ground, very bendy, but um, I love it looking like that. 
And then here we have an Oreo Serious variety as well. This one is uh, Hansi's lovely plant, very old as well, very beautiful. And here we have another Trica Serious variety as well. Do you know what type that is, Hansi? Chiliensis. Ah, Chiliensis, the Trica Serious Chiliensis. Gorgeous variety there. And uh, here we have also another tr trichocerus uh, scopolicola got a lot of scopolicolas guys again that got knocked i don't know what happened to it but the top went black and, and then this is the new growth here this is another trichocerus peruvianus here and this one here is a very um tall patricerus pringly very uh prickly should be called trich uh, should be called patricerus prickly rather than pringly amazing specimen it's five feet high that one as tall as me and uh, here we've got, um, this is Hansi's Trichocerus pacanoi plant as well. Beautiful, beautiful plant there. And uh, gorgeous specimen. Also got pups all growing down the base of it too. Lovely. And then here we have um, a Cleistocactus as well. I think it's Cleistocactus. I don't think it's Strousy because it's not woolly enough. But it's a Cleistocactus variety, not quite sure. Very, very old, two big heads, multi-heads from the top as well here. And in here we have another, um, another Pachycerius pringly as well, a smaller version, but still large and uh, very beautiful. Here we have a, this is a Pachycerius marginatus and you can see it's taller than me. So it's a very, very, very old plant as well. I got it when it was about that high and you can see how it's grown over the years there that's when i used to have it on the windowsill and then this is all the new growth here also you can see amazing cactus and uh, just trying to see what else we've got tall oh yes we've got some more tallies over here as well and uh where are you here we have <laughs> another trichocerius peruvianus a lovely blue version there as well gorgeous plant and then here is with more Trichocerus scopolicolas. We've got three big ones here in the same pot, very large as you can see compared to my height. Very beautiful. And then on this table here, we have um, a selection of different, uh, different types of serious cacti or Trichocerus varieties. Um, th th this one is another Trichocerus pacanoi here and different types of pacanoi varieties as well all different hybrids some smaller ones as well here and that one is Hansi's lovely one is grown from seed what's that one Hansi? Uh, Trichocerius? Ah uh, um, uh, Trichocerius um, oh, oh it's uh, gone away no Sorry. worries <laughs> it's one that's growing from seed anyway amazing amazing variety there and then we have here I think it's a Pringley. A Pringley, I think it's... Oh, Pachycerius Pringley. Pachycerius Pringley, ah, yeah. so it's a Pringley. Yeah, I think so. So um, it looks like it by the spines as well, very have beautiful. a long, long time. <laughs> yeah, and here we have some cloister cactus as well, that more sort of trailing plants. So that's it, I just want to finish off with a few of our seedlings that are little serious seedlings here that we've grown from seed ourselves, more Trichocerius hybrids, Trichocerius Helen's Baker, Trichocerius Field Pacanoi, and um, all different varieties of Trichocerius here. And uh, now I'm going to show you what we've got, what serious cacti we've got in the house. Now here I am in my grow room and I've got the grow lights on in here and this is where we overwinter a lot of the tall serious cacti that are not cold hardy. Majority of them being Pylosocerius and uh, many different varieties of Pylosocerius here. We also um, have some large growing tall euphorbias that we overwinter here too because they're not cold hardy and uh, different types of uh, not so cold hardy serious cacti. I've got Serious spiralis here, the spiral cactus. Also got a Canthoserius here as well, tall growing Canthoserius cacti. Also at the back there, I have my booby cactus, a Matillo cactus as well, overwintering nicely there. And a different selection of other types of uh, serious types of cacti. This is my Pelosa serious gunelli with the little arms coming out of it, love it. And they're sort of overwintering all well, as you can see. Different types of all tall serious cacti. 
Now these are our three taller giants that we overwinter here on our staircase for the winter time. We put these out into the yard in the spring and summer, but in the winter time because they're too tall for the polytunnel and the middle one is a pilosocerius, so that has to be overwintered indoors. We have to overwinter them indoors and the only place that we have enough height is the staircase. Crazy, I know, as you can see here. And uh, this one is a very large trichocerius that Hans has grown from seed almost 50 years ago now. I think it's about 47 years old. It's absolutely remarkable, beautiful, beautiful trichocerius. i say probably well over, probably nearly seven feet high. It's huge. And then this here is a twin pilosocerius, also um, well over six feet high here that we have uh, tied so it's not going to fall down on our staircase. Crazy. And then this one here is a large Brasilia puncha basiliensis. Very old plant. Um, I have no idea how old it is. Possibly over 50 years old. As it was gift gifted to me a few years ago. Lovely, lovely specimen here. So these three big tall giant uh, cacti are here in our staircase. Aren't I crazy, guys? So I hope you enjoyed uh, the lovely new serious cactus and also a bit of a quick tour of our serious type of cacti. And again, thank you, Stephen, so much for gifting us this amazing cactus and a big thumbs up to Hansi for filming as well. And uh, this little beauty is going to settle in really well into his beautiful new home. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification bell and give this video a like. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And for more growing tips on how to care for and grow cacti serpents, do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to wish you all an amazing plant-powered day.